All right. And then no. Oh, interesting. Nondescript man popping up and saying, need help. I'm okay. By the way, this is my darling brother's room, which is why there are two bunk beds. No, I do not sleep in bunk beds. I am a little older than 10 years old. Hey, I'm Elizabeth Rao, and I'm a technical product manager. My business, my product mindset, works with new companies to optimize their first time user experience. So many potential or prospect customers are just going out the door because they're not being served in the time they get a trial to the 14 days. I thought it would be very interesting for me to do a first time user experience of here is what I see when I come on to Salesforce because I have not used Salesforce personally and it'll be really interesting to see which products even appeal to me at my startup stage. So we'll get started. Now Salesforce as far as I know is a massive CRM. Um, I have no idea what a CRM stands for a customer relationship manager. So all of the potential prospects that you have, all the people coming into your funnel and then going all the way through five, 10 different stages into are they your customer? And, and then usually it gets passed off into customer service and saying, okay, this person's our customer, make them happy. So let's see what Salesforce has to offer. Connect to your customers in a whole new way with the world's number one zero. Okay. Oh, interesting. I that's really that's an interesting animation as well, where I go to the, these upper tabs and it blocks out um, or it shades the the home page. That makes me focus. Launch demos starting at twenty five dollars a month. Oh, okay. See how top low emergency response find tools free for ninety days. Oh, that's really interesting. Someone's got their caring program down. Uh, Unify Marketing, Unify all the parts. Yeah, this is definitely where I find a lot of companies use this the most. So Salesforce Care Solution is gonna be 90 days free, 150 companies, big to small, definitely across the board. I know a lot of tech startups that use Salesforce, like at a certain size, you definitely switch to Salesforce. Green, they're priming me with uh, green as my clickable, clickable buttons. I love beautiful dashboards like this. They're so gorgeous. On um, these color schemes, they're a little heavy on the, on the, they could do like lighter color schemes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. How do I get started? Try for free. I'm so down. Okay, wow. This is a lot of buttons. Sign up. My email is Elizabeth at product. It, it was surprising that they didn't say enter in your work email. Phone, I'm not giving that to you. Uh, not a valid phone number. Okay, well then let me make it a valid phone number. Okay, company, product mindset. And yes, I am in the United States. Start my free job. Hmm, okay. All pipeline. Oh my goodness. Wow, I know these are all samples. NAL111.lightning force wants to show you notifications. No, thank you. Also, that's so funny. Salesforce, get your crap together. So, how familiar am I with CRMs? Um, I am definitely a newbie. What would you like to do with essentials? Track relationship, resolve customer and management contacts. I wonder if track customer relationships right now. Here's your one-stop shop for helpful resources, search, and more. Just click the question mark to find your way back whenever you need help. Get a hands-on training, days left in trial is 90 days, okay? So one, they're hitting me with a lot of colors here. Like I was primed in the landing page to expect green was going to be my my button, my clicking, my success date. So it's a, now a neon, beautiful pink. I have no idea how many pixels this is, but this is a bunch of pixels that doesn't need to be here. This search cell for us, a bunch of pixels, and then this, this white. So it just feels very cramped. A lot of things up here. I know that many people who use Salesforce do not like the, the UI layout of it, and I'm finding myself a little um, overwhelmed by the amount of text. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of tabs, 
home, leads, accounts, contacts, opportunities, cases, tasks, calendar, reports, dashboards. There are literally 10 tabs with multiple drop down options. Start selling more. Get to know the essentials in 60 seconds flat. What a great tip. What is CRM? Salesforce is a CRM application. This is definitely a little longer than 60 seconds, store info but the they are not giving me on. anything. One minute? You can also have We're at the one minute mark. Okay. That's and an they are lying to me. That you're on. Okay, I'm Xing out of this. I was promised 60 seconds and I was at two minutes. Okay, uh, key deals, recent opportunities, follow-up calls, today's tasks. Pipeline, current year, quantification meeting scheduled, okay. Uh, talk, chat with the Salesforce. Sure, I'll start a chat. Talk to me. Now. Hurry up. Okay. Help me sync email. And I'll sync things, everything from your inbox and stuff. I'm gonna minimize this right now. What happened to that beautiful, like, checklist? They said to look for the question mark. I am, I see a star. I see global actions. Okay, this is the question mark, which makes sense because there is a question mark here. I did not see this at first. Actually, I, I had trouble seeing the question mark through the icon. I've seen a question mark before, but I haven't seen that icon before. Track your leads. Did you grab someone's business card or exchange emails with a potential customer? Those details are exactly what you track in leads. Okay, follow this lead. Here are your shiny new leads. Let's take a close look at this one. I'm very appreciative that they are giving me um, a sample set of data. What is this, like 15 contacts? So I can imagine what it would be like if I did have my own contacts in there. So I'm very appreciative of that. So I'm gonna import. Who are your leads? They're probably individuals right now. I don't have a CSV file yet, okay. Gmail export guide, okay. So there, this is definitely a little more taxing than, for instance, Pipedrive, where Pipedrive, I just hooked up my um, one one-step integration to hook up my product mindset email. This is obviously a feature on their backlog that they have not implemented, the one the one-step integration. I find it really frustrating because I'm not, I can see what the potential magic moment is because they've already loaded in the prospects, potential prospects, but I am now in a Google stream and I think people underestimate the amount of time that it takes for us to figure, like read this stuff for the first time and figure it out. Export or backup contacts. Right now, I'm not even sure what I'm at. I'm probably at a good five minutes of being on the platform. Now I have to go and find all my leads in Gmail. It's a little frustrating. Okay, cool, here we are. Verify your account. I can do that. Uh, thank you for my username. Change my password. Wow, they're really pushing the chat. Maybe that's just because I logged in again. Oh, oh my goodness, I just forgot. That was, this is the issue with forcing me to get off. Um, I, I just forgot what I was gonna do anyway. So export my contacts, that's what I was doing. I am so confused now. Oh, for goodness sakes, oh, goodness lord. Are you kidding me? Oh lord. This face right now is the face of a little frustration. I'm pausing the video right now. Okay, I am back. I just did a export with my Google contacts. So here we are. We are importing my new file for my leads, individuals. I do have a CSV file. And let me upload. Import is in the works. Go ahead and close this window so we can get you back to your day. I know Salesforce is a massive gargantuan tool, kind of like Autodesk, where got to do hours worth of work, like big, big work that you learn in mechanical engineering class to be able to create anything of value because there's so many buttons on it. So I'm going to wait for my contacts to be complete, but I'm going to give this tool a enterprise status and, you know, this setup here is days, weeks, months, consultants long. Oh, is that my specific one? 
Oh my gosh. Oh, it created a new Salesforce instance just for me. Okay. Uh, see my leads obviously didn't work. I cannot see any leads. Well, <laughs> uh, my ultimate decision for a Salesforce is that I wasn't able to set it up. I had to do a manual process of pulling in my contacts. So that's like, uh, that is such a massive setup. Maybe there's something magical later on. So first time user experience, wasn't able to do anything in five minutes, wasn't able to do anything in 30 minutes or an hour. Guess I will go brood over Salesforce not working for the next, probably until I really, really, really need a CMS or unless I pay someone else to set it up for me. The enterprise business model.